Hello folks, Double Tap here and welcome back to my channel. We are doing part two of our French MRE number nine. And I've separated both of them out into lunch and dinner. So I think we'll get the dinner out of the way because we're not using this for the present time and we'll concentrate on what we actually are having for lunch today so I thought that we could have this which is the uh, sausage I think it was was it pork or venison with beans um, let me move some of this out of the way for a second okay right okay also, I'm going to split the crackers and the caramels and we'll have half with this, half with the dinner, I think. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll start off with the sausage and duck confit and beans. While that is cooking, we can get on with the rest of the things. So the item does actually come with one of these, which is a little cooker. It's like a little S-bit one. Let's get these out if we can. Come on, there you go. Okay. Oh, there's a little fork in there. All oh, right. Okay. That wouldn't uh, do much, I don't think. They're the flammable little tablets that you burn. Book of matches with the Art de Triomphe. I've actually been there. You're going a little underpass there and come out over here because this is a massive island that is and obviously the Eiffel Tower been up there a couple of times and had a nice meal while we were there some purification tablets you've got a bag for the rubbish but this is what we're interested in this little tool here while it's on the camping stove there's a little notch there so if you imagine it was like that you would place the two forks there in the top you'd place that underneath that allows you to pick it up <laughs> right then I want to get this cooking because this will take the longest to cook so let me get these out of the way I will get our camping stove and We'll light it. Thank you very much. Okay then, now to heat this up, we don't need that yet. To heat it up, it's only a little thin pull can. So we're gonna raise that and just open the edge up a little touch. That allows the heat to go through it and to escape. So on there you go, my friend. And we are going to Put that out of the way. Right, let's bring in our trusty little tray, like so. Let's get this lined up with our camera because I'm having to stretch a lot today. Right, where are we? Is that better? I think that's better for you folks. And straight away, that food is bubbling away. Check that out. You see it on the edges. Yeah, I could use the little stove that it come with, but they absolutely stink the place out wherever you are, so I don't think that would be uh, a very good idea. Right then, let's start off with some drinks, I think. So, we've got our tea bag that we opened mistakenly yesterday. The first one we had I didn't really like it and with this ration pack, this RC, what is it, an RCIR, yeah, okay, with this one, for some reason it doesn't come with milk, it only comes with two sugars, you know, that, that's not the best, so I've prepared a cup and I've put some milk and sugar in it, so let's get some hot water in there. Now, it might look really milky, but I'll be honest with you, I drink really milky tea. 
I'm putting them tissues over there because I've got a feeling that that castellite is going to spill out all over the place. Okay, so that is our tea brewing, or as the troops call it, a brew anyway. So that is, I think I put too much milk in there. Right then, let's get our isotonic drink on the go. So here we are, Bison Isotonic. Um, I can't read any of it apart from the fact that it is for 500 ml of water. So I've put the water in a jug. Let's get this in if we can. Okay, right. That's that. It's like a pink powder. Okay, that's all of that lot. Let's get our trusty MRE spoon on the go. And the drink has actually turned purple. It's very granular, this drink is. You can feel it on the spoon. Right, now that meal to heat up shouldn't take more than 10 or 15 minutes on that little camping stove that I've got. And at this point I'd like to thank uh, one of my friends, uh, Dave the Para, who actually gave me this. I was in the army with Dave and I uh, tried a few of these ration packs back in the day. That was when they actually used to put a small bottle of wine in these ration packs. It was only one of them little things, you know, about that big. You'd probably get a decent glass of wine out of it, but yeah. Uh, after Dave left the army, he joined the French Foreign Legion with another friend of mine who I was also in the army with, and we'd meet up, have a few drinks, stuff like that now and again. And he knew, oh my god, this is going everywhere. This jug is a terrible idea. Right, <sighs> my gold. Okay, quick clean up mission. Yeah, a couple of mates joined the Legion and uh, we'd meet up and have a drink, stuff like that. And that's my phone going, so I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be back in a second. Right, we are back. I'm sorry about that, folks. Uh, I'm waiting for the British gas to phone me because I have an insurance with them to fix my appliances in the kitchen and I'm waiting for the repairman at the moment but this has been bubbling away nice while I have been on the phone so it is now cooked so I think if we, that tin is roasting, I think if we can get this off we'll be on to a winner, that is proper hot. Let's try it this way. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! I'm trying to keep the tin pushed down. <laughs> Come on. Right. I think I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to go for this method. Um, let me turn this around. Okay, so brilliant. Right, let's spoon all this lad out and it is absolutely roasting hot. Okay, let's see if we can get the sausage out in one piece. Are you going to come? Well, we've got it in Ow. half a piece. <laughs> and what I have noticed is, and it wouldn't be any different with the little cooker that it come with, um, because it'd still be a naked flame on the actual tin. You do get quite a lot of it stick to the packaging, which isn't really that much of a problem, but See what I mean? 
it is stuck to it. Okay, let's get rid of the tin. Where are you going? Where can we put it where it won't burn anything? Uh, let's pop it on the cooker top. Right, that is uh, that. So, that is the uh, sausage and duck comfy with beans. So, anyway, we was going to try the tea. So, while that's cooling a little bit, let's give the tea a try. Yeah, it smells nice. And it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all, that isn't. It's a lot better than that fruity type of tea that we had in the breakfast menu. So, that is our isotonic drink. I'm not sure of the flavour. Let's have a smell of it. It's raspberry, I think. Oh, yeah, it is raspberry and it is quite weak, that is. Um, I think that's because I mixed it too much <laughs> with too much water. So anyway, let's have a quick look at what this looks like. So we have an indoor piece of sausage. That sausage obviously matched up with that bit there. But that is our beans, so I think I'll try it individually, then I'll try it all together. So let's have a little go with the beans. And they are quite large baked beans, these. Mm, okay, let's have a little smell. Smell quite nice, let's have a taste. Mmm, they're lovely, they are. I'm not that much of a fan of beans to be quite honest with you but they're nice they're all right they're not an overpowering flavor they're not they're soft but yeah okay so what we've got here right this is the duck i'll move it to the left a bit so you can see it a bit better and it does smell mildly gamey, uh, as you'd expect duck to smell, so let's have a little taste. Mmm, lovely. That is lovely and tender. It tastes really nice and fresh, that does. So, let's have some of the sausage, I think. There's your sausage that it comes with. Let's have a smell. Doesn't really smell anything to be honest uh, so let's have a taste. Mm. Very tender. It's very tender that is. The flavours aren't overpowering or anything like that. Um, they're quite mild and mellow. Uh, it does taste really nice though, I think. I think that's quite nice. Yeah, definitely. So, we've got sausage, uh, duck and beans all in one go. So, let's give it a test all together. And that is nice. That is a lovely combination. We do have condiments with it salt and pepper but I don't like salt and I use pepper um, this doesn't need it in my opinion it doesn't need it so let's clean our palette and get on to the next part right then so what have we got next let's open the crackers I think and these are salted and sweet crackers should be all individually packed yep they are so are these four and four do you think let's take them from the center that way if they are 
they look exactly the same except these look a bit darker and it looks like they've got a whole wheat in them okay let's leave them there for a second and see if we've got anything on the box okay so then these ones should be the sweet them ones should be the salted and anything uh, okay, so the ingredients, barley, oats, rye, wheat, bran, milk, protein milk, etc. And there's a separate one for the salted ones. And that works out to 434 calories for the salted, 430 for the um, sweet ones. Yeah, so, okay then. That's that. So let's have a look at our dear pate. Uh, this would be obviously a pudding to the main meal that we've just tried. Nothing that I can read there. And obviously another pork can type. And that's what it looks like. That is our pate. So, I think I'm going to move the tea out of the way after I've had a little bit of it. Oh, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Let's get this out of the way. And if you can hear munching in the background, that's my dog eating a great big bone that I got him. So, let's put them there. Let's try some of the sweet crackers with it. And where's our knife? Here we go. Right then. So venison pate. Oops, dozer. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it smells quite nice, that does. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Them crackers are beautiful. That is really nice. I want to try them crackers. Actually, on the own. Let's have a taste. They're very hard. But fresh. And they are surprisingly very sweet I am surprised at that let's try this venison pate on its own do you know what let's get it out of the tin I think that'll be the easiest way to go with it there's obviously quite a bit of a fat content here with the jelly Nothing to worry about with things like that, it's all edible. So, I want to give this a little try on its own. Let's have a smell. Okay, it smells very gamey, that does, so let's give it a taste test. Hmm, it's lovely. It is really nice. Come on, open up. There you go. Okay, these are the salty crackers now. That's what they look like. I think I'm going to try them first, actually, on their own. And they smell mildly wheaty. Hard crackers again. Mmm. They're quite nice. Very salty though. They are very salty. Straight away it's the first thing that hits you. If I had a choice, I would take the sweet crackers. But, even though I don't like a lot of salt, I don't like the taste of it, I, I would still eat these. I would eat these, no problem. So that's it on the salty crackers. The venison pate, let's try that. Mmm, nice. 
that is really nice. So, we have our plum jam. Let's give it a little mix in the packet, like so. And best before 10th of the 9th, 2017. And that is about all I can read. Um, come on, open up. There you go. Right, let's put that over in here, I think. It's very dark in colour. Okay, that is that. Let's get the old spoon out of the way. I'm going to give my knife a little bit of a clean. So we've had the pate on it. That's that. So let's have a look. It's quite a thick consistency this is. It's obviously a preserve. That is what it looks like. Let's try it on the salted cracker. It doesn't smell of anything. I cannot smell anything on this. Okay, let's give it the taste test. Mmm. Well, yeah. Loads of flavour. That has got absolutely loads of flavour in it. Not that much of a breakfast person, so I don't eat a lot of this type of stuff, but it is nice that is really nice that is so let's try it on the sweet crackers and it was good on the salted ones as well these are my favorite out of the two the sweet so let's try that mm. it's nice but because them crackers are really sweet and that is really sweet. It goes better with the salted crackers. It's the contrasting flavours, I think. So, with that, I'd go with the salted crackers, definitely. Okay, then, so that brings us to the Bar Commando vanilla flavour. Um, can't read any of that. The use by date, 4th of the 7th, 2017. So, let's get this open. Ah. Okay, I can't say that I've ever tried one of these before, to be honest, and I have no idea what they are. It's obviously some sort of sweet or something like that, I don't know. Let's open it up, can we? Ah, that's the inside. Let's have a smell. And it smells of absolutely nothing. So, let's give it the old taste test. Hmm, very chewy and it tastes like bits of wafer. Um and and that's it. Obviously it's got a bit of a sugar taste to it. Um can't say that I'm really a big fan of that, so I think I'm gonna have a bit of the old brew here. Yeah, but saying that I mean it doesn't really taste of anything so I don't know what to say about that. So we've got our Klaus caramel vanillas here last but not least. Let's have a look at these. Okay so there's four in total so we'll take two out because we're saving two for the dinner menu that we'll be doing. Let's have a look at the old caramel sweets. Ah, it's, it looks like a toffee, looks a bit like a toffee to me, that does. Yeah, let's have a smell. Yeah, it smells mainly like a very mild vanilla type toffee. So, I'm going to give it a try, see what it's like. Ah, oh, it is absolutely rock hard. Can you see my teeth marks in it? 
think I'm going to leave that for after the video because I'll be chewing that <laughs> for the rest of the video if I don't. But anyway, that is our lunchtime menu for the number 9 RCIR French ration pack. I'll give you a quick overview. The sausage and duck comfort and beans, that is beautiful. That is lovely. We've got the sweet crackers, they are beautiful with the venison pate. The salted biscuits, they are nice as well. They're nice with the plum conserve um, because of the saltness in the crackers and the sweetness of the plum, they go together really well. The duck pate, that is really nice. It is really nice, that is. Uh, the commando bar, I'm 50-50 on that. I mean, if I had one for free, I'd probably eat it. If I had to pay for it, I wouldn't buy another one. And the drinks package isn't too bad. We've got a cup of tea and we've got an isotonic drink. So it isn't too bad. I would have liked to have seen another coffee in there. And I would have liked to have seen fruit, powdered milk and more sugar because we had to supply our own and as for our little sweet over here just to your left I'll tell you about that later because uh, I'm not going to eat it on camera it's rock hard <laughs> so anyway if you enjoyed the video and found it useful click the like button and subscribe for more daily videos we will be back doing the dinner time menu tomorrow so tune in for that one Leave your comments as I read them all. I'm Double Tap and bye for now.